Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome to Fights in Tight Spaces, a new to early access deck building action brawler tactical thriller that basically lets you be every cool uh, Hollywood fight scene coordinator and fight in tight spaces. So let's jump on in and take a little peek at what we got here. Also, probably worth mentioning, we've been given an opportunity to play this by the developer, so thank you for that. Agent 11. Sir, we have a number of emerging situations I could do with your skills. Okay, I guess we start off as balanced. Oh, little killy dokely. This looks like it's pretty straightforward to learn. One would hope. All right, let's, let's start off with training. Nice to see you back, Agent 11. Thank you, sir. Report back to me when you've completed your training. All right, here we go. Current target. Nope. Step zero of 31. That's a lot of steps. Fights in tight spaces is a turn-based deck building card game. Use Q and E to rotate your view left and right. Uh, use the mouse to highlight cards in your hand and for uh, blah, 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 and select spinning back fist. Okay. Move the selection cursor in or to the indicated tile and press left to carry out the action. Right to cancel or toggle between card selection and board cursor. Gotcha. All right, let's hit the fuck and nicely done. Some cards require momentum to play. You can see this indicated in the top right of a card. If a card cannot be played, its momentum cost will be shown in red. All right, so we don't have enough momentum. Where is my momentum? Right there. Gotcha. Let's, uh, maybe throw a little push. Push an enemy one tile or focus. Gain momentum. All right, I see. Now we can do the cool move. Click and punch. And cinematic kill. Or knockout, I guess, since we're only kicking him in the face. If an opponent is pushed out of the fight space, they are knocked out immediately. Enemies can be pushed over railings or anywhere you see a hazard marker. Okay, I see. We push them out of the ring. Give them a little push. A little push. There we go. Double click. You will sometimes be given warning where and when new enemies will arrive. Look for this marker. If the tile is blocked at the end of the turn, the enemy will be prevented from arriving next turn. Press enter to finish your turn. Every time you make a successful attack, your combo that combo level will increase. Combo is maintained between turns. But I assume if this guy shoots me, I lose my combo. Some cards require a specific combo level before they can play it. For example, Spin Kick. Gotcha. Uh, oh, movement will reduce your combo level and use step to move in front of the enemy. Oh, <laughs> step. There we go. And now we are facing behind him. Let's rotate, shall we? Combo level is dropped, but you still have enough to attack. And then we all push him in front of the bullet. All right. Enemies will be activated if they are targeting the player at the beginning of their next turn or if any characters enter their range during the turn. Enemies with projectile weapons can attack from any distance, provided there isn't an obstacle. And now we can end our turn. That poor fool. Oh dear, press and hold, uh, hold the alt button at any time to see the current health of all enemies on the board. All right, he's got two, you've got one, or no, it's 20, right? Yes, something like that. Pass the cursor over a target to see an individual enemy's status. An enemy's info panel will also show the order in which they will attack. Oh, okay, here we go. Turn one, turn two, I gotcha. If you see the uh, fist icon in the enemy's info panel, it means they are currently primed to attack on their turn. Okay, there's the fist. Some cards have an alternate movement amount. Use the option play card to remove or to move close to enemies, gotcha. Okay, and then we give him the old head smash, adjacent to a wall or barrier. Thumb will cause an enemy to face you. Okay, I see. So, 
he's facing this way, so he'll attack this way. You're attacking that way. On the, on the indicated enemy. Give him a little... Ooh! Oh, nasty. Sometimes you'll have to take a hit. Any damage done will be taken from your block before your health. Play the block card now. Gives us 10. And now we can move on to our next turn. Ouch. <laughs> well, that hurt. Note any leftover block is usually lost at the end of your turn. Some cards like Grapple require you first to select a target. Play the card and select an enemy. All right, Gripply Grapple. Now you're, okay, you want me to select this guy, do you? So I move you over there. Now finish the fight using the information you have learned. All right, how do I want to play this? Move, oh, I got you. We go, whoop. And then, can't use that. That'll probably, actually it won't take you out. All right, okay, so we, we push you back and I don't think I did that in the right order. I think that's all I can do this turn. Real smart play there, friendo. All right, how do we want to do this? Maybe push him against the wall and then give him the old head smash maneuver? Right. <laughs> All right, give him the old head smash maneuver. Which didn't actually finish him, did it? So we finish with a block. There you go. That's, that's the smart e pants move. Maybe. Gain an extra momentum. Do we need it? I think I can finish him. Oh no, I need movement. I gotcha. And I'll give him the old spinning back fist instead. Or... What am I missing? Give him the old shift -a -roo. Oh, I needed room. That's... that's... what my problem was. Wasn't it? I'll just end my turn. <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. Alright, let's give him the old can't head smash him. He's not against the rising knee. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Alright. I could have done that better, but you know what? Not bad. Impressive stuff. You've clearly still got it. Did you ever have any doubts? The world moves on, Agent 11. New challenges, new threats. I'm just glad you're up to it. Alright, now, now we're ready. Death's Head Biker Gang. With a network of clandestine clubhouses throughout Northern Europe and thousands of members, the Death's Head Biker Gang have a built-in infrastructure for drug and weapon, weapon tra uh, trafficking across borders and limited scruples when it comes to arming terrorists the world over. Well, sounds like they need a little, uh, you know, fist to the face. After the Biker Gang Wars of the 90s, we thought we'd seen the last of the Nordic gangs. But they're back, with a network of so-called clubhouses across Scandinavia. We're seeing a massive increase in smuggling operations on northern European borders. Put a stop to it. Alright. Okay, alright, I see. This is cool. So we've got this whole, uh, halfway that we can handle things. Alright, we'll start at the tattoo studio. There's a bit more information there I probably should have gleaned before just clicking, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta go in blind. Follow your instincts. All right. Can't do a combo finisher yet, because we don't have our combo yet. Uh, let's see. Remove on play, so we only get it the one time. I don't really have any attacks this turn, do I? All right, little uh, quick block. Maybe a little, uh, no, a shift. There we go. No combo, though. Oh, maybe I should have shifted over here, because then I could have possibly punched them into each other? No. Oh, no, that lets you move. Alright, so I don't really have any attacks, and I can't do my combo finisher, so let's just move to our next turn. The block was useless. Long strike. 
Oh, oh, he'll push me out. Give him the old slip. Oop. And, uh, quick strike. Oh, all right. Yeah, there we go. Long strike. And, you know, I'll, I'll give you a little, little push. For no reason. Just because I could. And no one's hit, hitting me today. Give him the old head smash. Oh, man. So much blood. And let's see here. How do we want to play this? Let's see. Deal six damage or pushed. Or one push to adjacent target. Or advance, then deal six damage in one push. Okay, so I can... I can hit these guys, is what you're saying. This won't actually finish them off. I can finish you, though. Now, let's see here. Can't hit you from there. Oh, there's an enemy that's gonna spawn over there. Well, in that case... Let's shift over there, shall we? That way we stop him from showing up. Possible attack. Oh no, th these are okay. We can leave it here. Someone is gonna spawn there though. So instead we'll give him the old hammer fist of justice, which apparently did not actually finish him off. Hmm. Maybe a little dash. Or, you know, just a step. And then we'll, uh, slip around you here. Oh, wait. I don't, actually, that's not really gonna help me, is it? Uh, you know what? I just noticed. Their color changes as, uh... Alright, I'm gonna finish you off. And let's see here. How do we want to play this? Maybe we'll just give it a little block. Yeah, you're not getting through that. Give him the old tasty head smash. Beautiful. Oh, I can totally finish him this turn. And... Brutal finisher by kicking him to the gut. Oh, oh yeah, of course we gotta... Complete the level within six, really? Nice. Oh, and I unlock new cards. Let's watch. Cinematic. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Oh, this is, this is awesome. Honestly, I should almost just, uh, I should just be showing this. Yeah, just the dramatic reenactment. Oh, that sickening crack. Man. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, that is... That's cool. That is always a lovely feature. Alright, so what do we get? Nerve Strike. Deal 4 damage and apply minus 2 damage to the target. Does not trigger an auto attack. Deal 6 damage up to 2 tiles away. Maintain range. I mean, that's useful if we want to keep our distance. But, I kind of like the idea of being able to weaken your, uh, your target might be useful. So let's see here. Rewards are money and cards. Weaken targets. Weaken targets. Four targets, four targets. You know, let's go to the alleyway. Doesn't really look like there's a dramatic difference. And, and alleyway fights, those are always cool. There are two fights in a restroom, not too shabby either. Alright, let's see here. You know, this looks like something that I might be able to do something with at some point. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe it's just doing that because I... I can't see through it. Alright. Do I have some cool spinny... attack here? How do I want to... Oh, no, never mind. I thought their colors represented their health, but I was clearly mistaken. All right, so we've got a couple of guys with guns here. That's that's always unfortunate. 
How about we shift around over here? Ow, you. Then give him a little of the old... All right, how much damage does a bullet do anyway? 10, I think. Though I did make him turn around, now he's facing me. That was probably less smart. So 10, you have 13 health. But I think I wanna, I wanna punch you. And I can't block. <laughs> Nicely done. Let's uh, slide over here, lowering our beautiful combo. But he is dead. Oh, clever. You're trying to... Trying to trick me, are you? Move around and gain momentum, or move one. All right. Okay, so I, I don't want to move in there. I think we just want more block. And I don't have range, so... Yeah, just... I did something there. I don't think it was the right move. Alright, we've, we've moved him out of the way. Let's see here, how do I play this? Give you a little, uh, quick strike. Because why not? Then... Then how do we do this? Hey, I, I think... Yeah, he can still hit me, eh? Is my impression. Oh, wait. What if I were to... To push you? Give you a little push there. Then we, we definitely got to step back. Get ourselves out of reach there. There we go. And you're just covering that guy. All right. Really not doing a good job of keeping my... Can I take you out this turn? I can. All right, let me give you a little quick kick to the face. And end our turn. All right. You've got nothing on me, friend. Give you a little taste of the old hammers of justice. Oh, he's coming for me. But I guess a, just a quick block. Yeah, we'll hold our position. That's right. Thank you, I'm the ever, uh, quick strike. Alright, can I- I can't hit you there, because we can't move on the diagonals. Alright, so we gotta wait on that. Oh, you fool, you came right into reach. You foolish fool. Can I punch you out this turn? The answer- this knocks him back one. So maybe I shouldn't have done that first. Give him a little punch to the face, and finally, a front kick to finish him off. Oh, it's so satisfying. Get a five combo. Not bad. Let's show the replay again. I don't think I choreographed this one as good as the last turn, but... Nonetheless, he got those satisfying head pounds in there. Pool shot his own friend. Classic maneuver. Because I'm a god, I can literally parry bullets with my fists. You gotta love it. Somehow managed to take zero damage this entire fight. As far as I can tell, anyway. Still at full health. Oh, you love to see it. Look at that. And the fool came right up to me. Though I should be glad the enemy is not smarter, because if he stayed at distance the whole time, that would probably be, uh, less good for me. Discard one, then draw three. Alright, so this lets us get through our deck faster. You always want a card like that. Or at least I find you always want a card like that. Give you a, a little bit of, you know, maneuverability. Some enemies have the auto-attack ability. Their information panel will show they have Overwatch with this little icon. 
This ability means they will automatically attack the first time a movement or attack action occurs within their range. This includes other enemies. Oh ho ho. Be careful, even once they use the auto attack, enemies may still be able to attack normally on their turn. Is my goal to get this cool briefcase over here? I assume so, because, you know, you got a little, uh... Or can I pick that up as a weapon? Oh, shoot. Been a bit of a... Been a bit of a bind here, aren't I? Oh, and this guy's got an overwatch attack. Alright, let's give, um... Let's give him the slip. Alright, so now we're we're free. <clears throat> I want to discard the emergency move. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Ah, I should have... No, I couldn't move here, could I? That would have been nice. Alright, how do I want to do this? I mean, I could push you. I don't think I can push you into... I don't really want to push anyone who might... Ah, hey, what the heck. Oh ho! Okay, that did work, because he was gonna... He was the auto-attacker. You are also auto-attacking. Alright, let's see here. Is there any point in making another move? I can't take anyone out this turn, so I think the answer is... No. You know what? Actually, no, I'm not gonna follow my own advice. Oh, he didn't turn. That's exactly what I, I wanted to see. Still didn't turn. You gotta love it. And then he pushes him again. This guy is... Okay, so... There's some auto-attacking action going on there. Can I finish you this turn? Oh, combo finisher, baby. Eh, yeah, what the heck. You gotta treat yourself sometimes in life. I don't think I want to get in to that position. He can hit me from here. Uh, let's see. And he's gonna do... Six damage. What do you know? We've got a block. We can totally take him out. Okay, here's the plan. Give you a little, uh, long strike. Followed by a front kick, which also pushes him backwards. It also moves us forward, though. Hmm. We can do a little shift. Or a quick block. I'm gonna take the quick block, just because holding my ground sounds cooler. Though it's gonna shove me backwards. Alright. Okay, okay. So, th oh, this actually puts me in a, a tricky position, doesn't it? Because I can't move over here. I can't hammer fist this guy, though. Oh, sh- That's right. <laughs> I took damage. I'm a fool. Should have- should have countered. That would have been the smart play. Oh well. I can't undo my move, so I- I did it to myself. This will end my combo. Alright, in that case, give him a little nerve strike. And fall with a counter to wrap our turn up. We'll hold on to our combo for now. Oh, jeez. Well. Oh, god, what have I done? I can't push anyone. However, do a little, uh, little of this. Little of that. I mean, my goal is just to get this, isn't it? Let's put a little block action on that, just in case. Yeah, we'll put a little extra block action on that, just in case. Okay, okay. I, I can't slip right behind him. Can I push you over the counter? No. Alright, it was worth a try, though. There we go, finish him off. Then... Or wait, 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 hang on. Let's give this a ponder. There we go. Combo finisher, baby. 
Didn't finish him, though. Oh, if I had one more, I could have actually hit... Oh, no, I couldn't have head smashed him because he's not against anything. All right. Give him the old front kick to push him away. Now he can attack back. And then we'll hammer fist him out the door. Never mind. I'll just slide over there. The important thing is that it works. You've got four health. Give you a nice little kick to the face. Collect the ah, shucks. Get over here. Force the character to move two tiles. Heavy strike. Let's see, deal 14 damage to a target up to two tiles away, and then we advance a little closer. That's 14 damage. You know what? I'll, I'll take that. Costs us a little bit more energy. We also made some mistakes on that last fight. Oh. Okay, we can either... Take a card. Let's upgrade a card. What do we want to upgrade? Maybe a head smash? 12 to 16. Of course, it also... Oh wait, we can actually upgrade multiple cards. It's not just uh, one or the other kind of thing. Move two. What else does this actually do? Move past the target and maintain combo. Okay. That's probably useful. Oh, I actually don't have the money for anything else. You know what? That, that That's still good. That's still good. All right. Uh, wait, do I have the money to remove it? Insufficient fun. Wait, where is my money? Oh, it's right there. It's right there. I can do it. Let's move on. Could have bought a card, but I like keeping my deck slim. I also see if I went the other way, I could have healed up. Oh my god, what's this guy? Okay. You've got your auto attack in there. Oh geez, if I come into range at all. All right, I get pushed into the gun if I stay here. This advances me. Can I finish this guy in one turn? He's got 15. The answer is no, I cannot. But I can block, or I could just dash out of the way. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put up all my block. We're gonna get shoved back, but we're still safe. That's okay. You know, you push yourself forward. There's got to be some smart way I can handle that. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Don't have a combo finisher. Can't head smash anyone from where I'm standing. Our only... option... is... I guess to... kind of emergency move instead and then maybe shift it to get over here and then push him into the bullet. You're gonna push me again. I should have done the emergency move first. That would have been the smart play. Can I finish you, though? The answer is yes. Yes, I can. And that's what you like to see. So, I'll, I'll hit you. Because why not? See, he didn't even turn to face me. Coward. you take damage if I push you? No. Okay. Oh, I do. Never mind. I'm a fool. All right, that worked out. All righty then. Do a little slip. Kind of like the idea of putting myself here. Someday we're gonna get group attacks, and it's gonna be glorious. Yeah, there we go. And finish him off with... with... 
Let's do a hammer fist just because it's cooler. Yeah. All right. I just need to get around you. Let's uh, pull up a ponder. Let me get rid of the emergency move. That's exactly what I was looking for. Shift around. And do I have a move that can push you? The answer is... No. No, I do not. But I will give you a combo finisher. Nicely done. Followed by a kick to the face. Followed by nothing. Okay, so you've got to be like my first boss fight, right? I'm going to do 10 damage. All right. So... Can I actually get through his block? <laughs> All right, let's see here. I can move one, or I could block him and take some damage. I don't want to take damage, so I'm going to I'm going to slide over here. Lowers our momentum a little, but sometimes you got to do it. Let's give him a little taste of the old nerve strike. A uh, tasty head bash. So the cost of that is it lowers our momentum to zero. And how do I want to play this? I can't finish you this turn. I don't feel there's much use in pushing you, but I'm going to. Then, well actually I guess what I should have been doing is try, I should try maneuvering him over here. Because then I can just push him out of the room. Oh! Complete the level in free turn. Yeah, you see. If I was smart, ah, but what the heck, we're, we're still learning this game. All right, give him step, tasty head smash, which does cause him to look at us, unfortunately. Then we want to, oh crap, I can only do one or the other. Oh, but he's only going to do eight damage. There we go. Give him a tasty counter. And again, because we're gods, we just block the blowtorch with our fist. Shift plus. Okay. Hmm. You know what? I think what we'll do is... Let's see, this does 14. So yeah, it's going to be more than what we would do with any single card. Move around and gain momentum. And I mean, he'll turn to face us, won't he? Yeah, I, I can't. I can't see this. I can't see this really working in our favor. Ah, if only I had a bit more combo. Oh wait, I could. Not that it'll be enough to finish him, however. Alright. Give this a ponder. I'm gonna get rid of the combo fin combo finisher, I think. Gotta think about this. Alright, so we wanna give him a nerve strike. That takes away some of his damage. Now he only does six, which means that quick block will finish him. And oh. I guess that's all I've got. I, I did not do that as optimally as I could have, I think. That's okay, that's okay. We'll give him a, a tasty head smash. There you go. 18 health. Can I finish you? The answer is no. No, I cannot. So, what we gotta do... We're going to have to do a step. We'll step over here. Now maybe I could have pushed him then stepped. All right. It's so hard. All right. The quick block will be enough. I can't quite finish him. Wait, but I can do a combo. No, I can't do a combo. Never mind. Quick block will save us, though. 
Shame, shame, shame. A little nerve strife. Uh, strike, I meant to say. He's almost there. Was that a, a foolish move? Actually, I can't finish him anyway. But the counter, however. There you go. New upgraded card. Uh, let's see. Quick kick. Virtuous Psycho. Cycle. If combo is over five, gain six. Interesting. That could be handy. But I don't know if I want to take it. I mean, I'll take combo counter instead. Deal eight damage plus two per combo level. All right. And let's see. We can only see so far ahead. You know what? Actually, this is this episode's been half an hour long. I think we'll we'll wrap things up here and we'll reconvene next time. I think. I mean, how long can this campaign possibly be? We'll find out. But until then, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Like with anything new on the channel, it's always extra double super special important to hit that like button or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking and I'll see all you in the next video.